it's time for me to begin segment 15, if you can believe that or not. And I've made some adjustments, added some things on, and solved some problems. So let me get into the difficulties that I corrected. I've reversed myself on deciding on what to do with this staircase. I had the grate propped up. I decided that was not right, so I've taken it off. I'm going to leave the stairway open. I'm not going to glue the grates on here. I'll leave them loose. These are just some supports that I've added. They're also loose. And then the grate that I put over the stairs actually goes here, and I'm making the frame around it. I've now completed the stain work on the stairwell. You can see these circular tops that fit on there. They look a little better now that they're stained. I had a difficult time determining parts I-5. That's the long one with that real thin cutout. And I-6 is the support. And the instructions just did not show clearly how this went. Fortunately, I was able to look online and I found a photograph of a completed ship. And it's just like that on both sides and it did show it directly above where this comes around and goes up and it actually rested on top of it a little bit after doing searching and searching and searching I finally found what this part is this is not the instructions that came with it but on that part that hangs out over the ship there's a pulley that um, kind of supports or lifts the anchor away from the ship, I guess. So that's what this whole contraption is for. And this little piece right here took five very tiny pieces to make. So let me show you what I did. I improvised some. So what this com uh, is comprised of is uh, off of part sheet C. The outer parts are six on both ends. There are two circular parts on the inside that are C8. And then there's a very small, looks like an eyebrow. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see this very well. There it is on my fingertip. That is C9, but there were some more, I think it was on sheet G George, that weren't even marked, they're just there. And that little piece separates the rope. So it goes on two sides of what will supposedly look like a pulley. There were holes on the outside, so I put a piece of brass through there to hold them all in place but you can see here how there's a hook so even though that's made out of rope and I could convert to that I may make a rope one just cut the brass off and use it as a pin matter of fact I've already decided that's what I'm going to do so let me redo that so now that I have this brass through here once this dries I'm going to snip that brass off still use it as a support and then I could tell by looking on here there's rope that goes around that pulley system and then a hook that can be removed and to use that to support the anchor when it's uh, out of water. So bear with me as I go into a little more detail on some of these small parts because it takes quite a bit of work and thankfully I'm retired and I can take the time to do research. If you're having any problem building it just look online and at other ships and what you can find and it'll help with the parts identification. The instructions for this ship are terrible to say the least. Here's the completed pulley. What I did is I tied the loop. Okay, there's the loop. And then just wound the string around and super glued it where that uh, brass pin is. So now all I have to do is cut off those two loose strings and that will give me the pulley that I'm looking for. Here it is completely assembled and attached to the ship. I made this little brass hook. You can 
let's see how the pulleys are in place. The string worked out all right. And it goes up and then this, I left quite a bit of extra string uh, because on the one form it says this would go to a cleat. So as soon as I figure out which cleat to attach it to, I'll have plenty of rope to work with. Something I failed to mention earlier is I did drill two small holes all the way through because that's what the rope uh, goes down and through, loops through the pulley, comes back up. It's a shame there wasn't space for three because that caused me a little issue. I had to just loop it up around the outside of the support boards. If I had another space for another hole, I could have gone back up through a hole. But it still worked out fine. Parts C29 and 30 are glued together. So 30 is the two halves. It comes, it looks like one piece, but it separates into two. And the half piece goes on the lower part of 29. Here's 29 and 30 in place, and there'll be either a rope going to the anchor or a chain. I haven't decided which. The examples that I've seen, they're ropes, but I kind of like the idea of a chain. So uh, that is, if you'll notice the port back here, right there, it's at about that level so that at that deck you could uh, pull that chain in or it would crank in. I4 are these posts and B19 is the support between them. I've gone ahead and put the belaying pins in and when I attach this to the deck I actually drilled a hole not all the way through the deck but just to give a little indent for this post to fit down in and I kind of rounded off the corners so it would fit down in, oh, maybe not even a quarter of an inch or right at a quarter, a quarter of an inch. I've also put the belaying pins all across the front. I noticed on one of the models that there was a, like a board that stuck out from the rest, probably so when you pulled into dock, it would, you know, it would rub on this and, instead of the ship itself. So I just added one more plank on top of all the other planks. And whenever I'm gluing, where I've um, used the tongue oil, I roughed that up. So before I glued that this piece on, I roughed up where the uh, tongue oil had been. That's another reason why I drilled the holes in here, was the, the tongue oil kind of seals the wood. So I want that glue to adhere. Now I'll go over and do tongue oil around it all. Same thing down here and that'll give additional adhesive strength. Part D1 is the support or the side for the ladder that goes on the outside of the ship. However, there's only one D1 part so you have to make the second, which I've done. Then beside the ladder to the left is a part G 10. G is in George. Very small and they're little like pegs. That are, uh, well they're kind of like steps that just are permanently on the ship. Very small. Okay, Trying to give you an idea of what they look like. And I'll show them again after I mount them on the ship. But that's G10. And then for this the steps were just the leftover steps that I had from elsewhere and there was exactly the right amount. This completes part 15 of my building the Black Pearl. And I know I'm going kind of slow, but I'm hoping that it'll help someone that maybe purchased the same model and has struggled because the instructions are not very good. 